My dearly beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, I greet and bless you all in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. On this day, February 21st, it is a great pleasure to meet you in the morning through this auspicious message. May the Lord bless you. The auspicious word the Lord has kept for you is from the book of Mark 9:23. if you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. My dear brothers and sisters, in our lives, belief is an essential thing. Our lives actually run on the trust or belief we have in others. Our lives are driven by our beliefs. Faith means belief. If there is faith or belief in a man, then everything will happen for him. All things are possible. Because the Bible says, if you believe, then you shall see the glory of God. In what situation was this word spoken in the scripture? When a father brought his son, who was both dumb and deaf, to Jesus and asked him to heal, the boy couldn't hear or talk. The father tried all kinds of treatment, but it was of no use. He couldn't be healed. When the evil spirit caught him, he would fall into the water, and the evil spirit would try to kill him. Or it would try to throw him into the fire and kill him. There was the spirit of killing himself within the young boy. It was a big challenge for the father to cater to his needs. The father cried out and said with tears, so one day he brought him to Jesus. Then Jesus asked the father whether he believed that he could heal the boy. Then the father replied to the Lord, saying, Lord, I believe. Help my unbelief. That means he said that he believed that Jesus could heal his son, but in case there was unbelief within him, he asked the Lord to pray for him. He requested Jesus to remove his unbelief from him and thus heal his son. Jesus appreciated his trust in him, and looking at the evil spirit, he said, Deaf and dumb spirit, I command you to come out of him and enter him no more. Immediately, the young man was delivered from the grip of the evil spirit. If there is someone in your family who has been affected by the evil spirit and is in bondage, and if they are caught by a spirit of weakness, and therefore if an organ has not been functioning properly or if they are unable to talk or walk, then God is going to perform a miracle for them through this auspicious word. The evil spirit that penetrated into your body in between and had come to destroy you, I rebuked such an evil spirit in the name of Jesus to get out of your body. You ask the evil spirit to go out of your body. Then the Lord will perform a miracle for you. Dear Lord, we thank you, Lord, in case there is an evil spirit in the body of your children, sitting inside of them and trying to destroy them by spoiling the organs in their body and ruining their lives and their future, and if they have been subjected to any sinful activity, I rebuke in the name of Jesus, and I command in the name of Jesus that they flee from out of their body. I also command that they should not enter their bodies again. May all suicidal and evil thoughts be removed from them. Let all depressed spirits leave them forever. May all the incurable diseases that affect their bodies be removed from them. May all the evil spirits that remain within their body and do not cause the organs to function properly be utterly cast aside. Be gone from their bodies. Give your children divine healing, O Lord. I command once again that no such evil spirit will enter their body again. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I greet and bless you all, my dearly cherished brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a tremendous joy to see you this morning, February 21st, through this auspicious message. God bless you. The book of Mark 9:23 contains the fortunate word that the Lord has reserved for you. To the believer, everything is possible if they have faith. Greetings, darling siblings. Belief is a fundamental component of our existence. Actually, the belief or confidence we have in other people is what drives our lives. Our beliefs are what guide our lives. Belief is the essence of faith. Everything will work out for a man if there is faith or belief in him. Occur for him. Everything is conceivable. Because the Bible claims that you will see God's grandeur if you believe. In what context does the scripture use this word? The youngster could not hear or speak when a father brought his deaf and dumb son to Jesus and requested that he heal. The father attempted every form of therapy, 
but to no avail. He was not able to recover. He would fall into the water when the bad spirit captured him, and the evil spirit would then attempt to kill him. Alternatively, it might try to kill him by tossing him into the flames. The small youngster had a spirit that would have killed him. It was a significant task for the father to meet his requirements. So one day he took him to Jesus, and the father sobbed and said, Next, Jesus questioned the father about his belief in his ability to heal the kid. The father then said, Lord, I believe, in response to the Lord. Please cure my incredulity. That is to say, he requested the Lord to intercede on his behalf, even if he expressed faith that Jesus could heal his kid. He asked Jesus to heal his kid by taking away his unbelief. Jesus expressed gratitude for his faith in him by commanding the demonic spirit to leave the man and never return while glancing at it. The young man was instantly freed from the evil spirit's hold. God is going to work a miracle through this auspicious word for someone in your family who has been possessed by an evil spirit and is in bondage, or if they are afflicted with a spirit of weakness and, as a result, an organ has not been functioning properly or they are unable to walk or talk. I rebuke the evil spirit in the name of Jesus to leave your body because it had entered it through the gaps in your body and was coming to destroy you. You make a request for the evil spirit to leave your body. Then a miracle will be done by the Lord. For you. We are grateful to you, Lord. If, in the name of Jesus, your children have been involved in any sinful activity, or if an evil spirit is present in their bodies and is attempting to destroy them by destroying their organs, ruining their lives, and ruining their future, then I rebuke them and command them to leave their bodies. Furthermore, I give them the order to never again enter their bodies. May all thoughts of suicide and evil be taken from them. Let all gloomy vibes depart from them permanently. May they be freed from all incurable illnesses that harm their bodies. May the remaining demonic spirits be blessed throughout their bodies and the organs from operating correctly be completely disregarded. Be removed from their physical form. O oh Lord, grant your children supernatural healing. I give them another order, no such bad spirit shall ever again enter their body. We ask in the name of Jesus. Indeed. 